Hello and welcome. This has been a crazy weekend for fighting games with over 20 titles going on at CEO 2023. But the only one that matters today is Marvel versus Capcom 3. You already know what it is. This has been a crazy weekend so far. My name is Tong, in case you didn't know, and I'm joined here today by my brother, Proxy G, Proxy TCG, TNS Proxy, whatever you want to go by. I don't know. <laughs> we'll be switching names. <laughs> we'll be switching names. There have been a lot of big upsets and surprises this weekend, but the biggest piece of news of all is no liberal Terminator in top eight. Dude, it is definitely obscene to get to see this guy who is a favorite in every tournament he enters. Yeah, I'm actually very, very surprised. I, I can't believe it. After winning Combo Breaker, winning Texas Showdown, you would think he'd be right here. I, he was the favorite to win the tournament for sure. Yes. But uh, one of these guys uh, put him in the losers, and he's about to come up and play soon. But right now, let's take a look at the guy who put him in losers in the bracket right now. Idom going up against Coach Steve. That's going to be our first match of the day. Other side of winners, of course, is Jabril and Ray Ray. And then on the losers, we're going to have KBR, Kane Blue, Rever, the Grand Return is going to be facing off against Ronan Healy. And then a little farther down is going to be Flocker, the former Evo champ, facing off against Noel. All right, this is a stacked bracket for sure. A lot of Florida in here, even though we don't have LT. I don't, I'm going to keep rubbing that in because he's in the audience and I know he can hear me. I saw him thumbs up right there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the hand pop up. Oh my god. Like I said, Idom versus Coach Steve is going to be the leadoff here. It's going to be the point. Dante versus Nova, which is definitely a little bit of a weird matchup here. Nova can't do what he normally wants to do. Can't set the pulse. Stinger just beats it clean. I see. The one thing, though, in the air dominance with Nova. Nova grab range in the air. Nova box dash H. I really like Nova in this matchup. I think Dante is going to struggle a little bit, but maybe not Idom's Dante, right? <laughs> Potentially not, but here we go. The first match of top eight already getting kicked off, and Hammer is going to be the first hit clean there from Idom. Man, Box Dash H isn't really even all that good. I don't know what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Listen, I haven't seen a rejection like that since the Kembe Matumbo was playing, bro. He stuffed him. Oh, no, and the character already down. Dormammu is going to leave it in. Has the jam session for the mix-up. It's just going to use it for charges, but Coach Steve, he gets a little too much room. That's a clean hit once again. Oh, and you already know with this meter on deck. Oh, no, with the, with the drop with the drop on deck. I'm sorry. Missed the diagonal zip. Definitely a crucial drop here. Dormammu getting the live. Tough. Gets the low twice in a row. Misses the opportunity. And jam session almost gets confirmed. Yeah, almost gave it right to Idom here. Even though he does get the hit with the team super, still no conversion there for him. So she's kind of taking it easy here, but maybe not the approach to take as Idom is able to get the hit off of Bolts. Comes through, good amount of damage, not quite enough to kill, but he cancels early, so he's going to get the low float down into the million dollars. Very nice DHC, but still not quite enough. Oh, he might regret not x Factor. Never mind. Never mind. Idom had a plan the whole time. What am I talking about? He's in this top eight. Okay, jam session. Good job breaking some of the finger lasers here. Attacking at an odd angle that Doom can't quite handle, and he gets the teleport. Honestly, I don't know if Idom has been spending more time playing Street Fighter 6 or Marvel 3, bro. He's got a million dollars. He's got the X Factor. It should be just enough. Absolutely going to be able to close that one out. I like the way Idom is looking right now, man. He had an answer for everything. Absolutely. Like you said, that's, uh, you know, Dante favorite. <laughs> Yeah, you know, honestly, bro, I don't know who that was commentating earlier three minutes ago, but it wasn't me, hey, all right? Yeah, new game, new me. It's fine. Back away, though. He able to go for the crouching medium underneath the bolts, and he finds the dolphin kick. Bro, I told you, box dash H is the answer in this matchup. Dude, to the wall. Good stuff for Doom here. Going to build up a ton of meter. I mean, this is a combo that we've seen a million times from, from just, just about everybody, but I think it just goes a little sweeter when it's coached. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, he's the one that pretty much started this stuff. Right, even my son knows this combo, and I don't even have a son. But if I did, he would know it. Your son's a noble player, that's great. <laughs> there we go, gonna set up for the mid-screen snap. This is gonna be dirty. Oh, see, that second layer, a little too much. Yeah, I think Idom was maybe expecting a throw tech situation there. But maybe he didn't see the, uh, the second side switch. Either way, Dormammu is going to struggle a little bit here. Ooh, maybe struggle a lot. 
Didn't even have time for the struggle. Have you ever been too busy for the struggle? Oh no. Maybe not. Team Super takes the kill. One to one. Coach, what a bounce back. The first game doesn't matter. It's dead. You know, that was just warm ups. He thought that was button check, actually. Okay. Almost got the air to air there. Tried to go for the jumping medium. A little too far. And he's going for the light, actually, canceling early, but it doesn't matter. That didn't actually combo. <laughs> you know, when you're switching sides like that, you get a little bit busy trying to figure out what to do next. But you got to think about what you do right now. He wasn't blocking, that's what he wasn't doing. Million dollars is actually enough to take the kill, so he's got a full stalking flare for mix-up. This is huge. Oh, didn't even set the flame carpet down. Didn't even need it, because he still got the mix-up here off of bolts. Standing medium, plenty of spells, charged. Only gonna need to spend the one bar. That is another huge interaction. As stalking flare gets attacked back in. Oh, but one foot dive to roll them all. Sometimes that's all you need, and Coach Steve has so much of this X Factor. Okay, one missile, yeah, for the culture. Zai, and he gets the cross up, I love it! Bro, there is nothing scarier in this game than waiting to come in against Dr. Doom with X Factor. Oh no, Strange doesn't even have X Factor. And the same mix again, can't quite fix it though! Yeah, wasn't able to make the most difficult adjustment, but you know what? Idom is able to pick up the stray here with swords. And he turns it into the full loop. It's gonna go straight to the level three. Has a follow-up afterwards if he does need it. Idom making it two to one. You know, I was talking about surprises and upsets. This is definitely one of the biggest surprises here. Idom in winner's side top eight. Obviously one of the best fighting game players of all time. But we haven't seen a performance like this out of him and for Marvel yet at least. Yeah, it's definitely been a while since we're about to see a performance like this. That's a crazy confirm. Are you going to X that? I actually think I'd be okay. I'm fairly certain he's playing this from the future. There's no way you confirm that otherwise. Oh, my God. And he only needs one bar. He did the math. Yo. Okay, Coach got defense, though. Amazing blocks. Going for the two-button tech. It is going to hit, and he's going to pop his own X Factor. All right, even though Dante got out of there, it's okay. Getting Dormammu is more than enough. Knowing Idom doesn't have X Factor of his own. Coach Steve in a position to tie the setup here. Oh, good. I like that slowdown. Oh, nobody grapples him out of it! Where did he come from? Where did he go? Oh, oh and the happiest of birthdays here. Perfect timing for him. Okay, he's gonna get one strange all by his lonesome. And bringing Spencer back, definitely the right choice here. Going right back at it. It's almost like the combo never ended. Okay, Coach makes it two to two. He was telling me that he's definitely playing confidently this weekend across all games. He's been feeling really, really good. You can see it in the play. Oh, this man made top eight at KOF. This is nothing for him. Dude, this is a KOF player versus a Street Fighter player. Now this is this is two Marvel players, bro. Oh, through and through. Uh, one of these guys is still a Marvel player. I, I, we'll see after this game. Okay, Volcano Beehaw, twice in a row, builds a ton of meter, gets the second million dollars, and is going to kill both. It's all up to the man with the arm. Well, we are one character away, though, from getting in the winner's finers, finals here. Oh, my God, air throw, amazing. We are three characters away from getting in the winner's finals here. <laughs> The distance, tries to go for the jumping heavy, a little too far. Still an okay situation, but Idom is doing an amazing job of killing this time. And Idom almost got whip punished there, just inches away from Coach Steve's feet. Wow, what a trade. But he Matt, wakes up with the crouching light. He said, no, nah, it's not your turn yet, bro. Just because I got hit doesn't mean I'm going to stop mashing. 80K into the maneuvers, goes to the maneuver specifically for that perfect timing after the cinematic. Look, even with no X Factor left here, that's it. That's what you need. Oh, no. This could be trouble. I don't know if it's quite going to be able to kill, but he's going to get a nasty mix afterwards. Yeah, he's definitely going to spend as much meter as he can and capitalize on the damage. But you're right. I don't think it's going to be enough. No. And he goes for the snap here. Maybe the right choice? He's still going to need two hits on Strange, right? Okay. He's going to catch out as much damage as he can here. He's going to go Stalking Flare, actually. I like that. That almost confirms. Yeah, even then, you know, just keeping him at bay here. That's the most important thing. Oh, the bay is actually too close. 
one little touch at a time. This is starting to add up here. Coach is going to go for maneuvers. This is actually going to kill Dormammu. Strange going to have to come in honest. Oh, I'm kind of scared for it. Oh, no, it didn't kill. But you know what? We got the arm out here, and we're going to be able to capitalize off of that for a little extra damage. I don't know if he's going to be able to get enough to kill here, but this will be a comeback of a lifetime. You know how many hits he's had to get on Dormammu and Strange? Okay, here we go. A super. Nice push block. Oh, but that super might have been enough here. Did it catch him? It did it. And he's not going to. Oh, no. He, he hard tagged. So intelligent from Idom there. Coach Steve is going to have to get to the loser's side. Yeah, that was a super sick hard tag there to avoid everything because Coach dashes up. In my mind, he's thinking command throw there. Right. I thought this caption said Idom scrapes coach but uh, as he scrapes in the winners finals you're right about that i was like that was the closest match though coach steve you can never say die with this man but i dom just a little too strong today yeah, absolutely i mean every day he fights right yeah i mean i don't think we've seen an i dom uh marvel major win right no oh look haven't. at look at ray ray here look at my homie here should represent for tns you already know school. what it is he got the old school jacket too that's how you know he's there uh, yeah <laughs> tns is a family baby you, oh, might, man. you might even be watching this on TNS right now. Who knows? Dude, on the other side, though, obviously Ray Ray coming up. It's going to be Jabril and these two. If for living as far away from the uh, from each other as they do, I would reckon to call them training partners. They play really often. Oh, yeah. One's in New York. The other one's in Seattle or close enough to Seattle. I don't know any other cities in Washington outside of Seattle, but That's whatever. Right. East Coast versus West Coast. But, you know, they're definitely they definitely have played a lot of matches together, especially over the past year and a half. Both of these guys have traveled with each other a lot. So, we'll see. Yeah, definitely a lot to come down the table here. Jabril, another one of those players where uh, in the same vein as some uh, some others, everything he goes to, you definitely have to, he's in the conversation. He's one of the favorites. I think going into most of the major tournaments, including here at CEO, he's in the conversation. Look, I don't want to say this this early into the top eight, okay. but Jabril might, might be my pick to win EVO this year. <laughs> start now <laughs> <laughs> he might be my pick to win CEO as well there's a lot of competition still though a lot of losers to be played as well got KBR in there but you know what before we get to all that we got to get with one of these guys who is gonna face IDOM in winners finals I this is definitely uh, when I think Jabril I think mechanical man it just it sometimes it feels like he picks when he when he gets to lose he just, he is so incredibly solid, shores up, not many mistakes in his gameplay or his movement, but you can really say the same for Ray. Yeah, definitely, Ray is the master of magnetism, obviously some of the smoothest movement in this game. Okay, time to get it started. Being a little more aggressive here, you see when Ray calls the drones, he always will dash as far back as he can and then gets aggressive to keep Sentinel off the screen. Protecting, attacking, assist is one of the strengths of Ray Ray's game for sure. And as much as I think Zero is the best character or top two characters in this game, I feel like Ray Ray might have a little matchup advantage here with having drones and beam, right? Versus Jabril, you know, he's got jam session and rapid slash. You know what? What does matchup matter, bro? This is Jabril. Okay. Opportunity. Might go for the DHC out. Ray, yeah, he'll do really anything to keep all three characters alive. He loves to have the whole shell. Okay. But that doesn't quite get there and backs it off. I like that. Bait the jam session kind of declined. I mean, this is just allowing him to get time for Magneto to recover some health as well as Doom loses it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, a little bit of a beat up here, but that's good for Jabril. More bar to be able to spend. Should only need to spend one, though. Optimal with the loops. I feel like quite often when I'm in this position that Ray Ray is in right now, I'm not worried about if the combo is going to kill me. You already know. You're worried about what you're going to do next against this incoming. And block, I guess, or, or not block, you know. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'll block most, unfortunate, but, you know, that's that's how a cookie crumbles. Hey, look, he blocked more than most of us could. <laughs> now, luckily, a character coming in that, unfortunately, even though he has the option of potentially invincible out, still gets hit in the end. Yeah, that was too many layers from Jabril there for anybody to do anything about it. I don't think chat GPT could have blocked that one. Wow, no more games is right. Pops the X-Factor, finished it up. Swig of water, another day at the office. Jabril is one to zero. Fight. 
Okay. And trying to approach with the mag blast here, looking for those plus frames. Luckily, Zero, very small body, able to avoid a lot of these uh, drones just naturally by being short. Not for sure here. Ray Ray pushing them into the corner, though. Okay, S didn't do too much. Smooth movement, but didn't get too much out of it here. He's trying to bait that assist as often as he can. And we talk about blocking and defense all the time, but the real defense is just kind of spacing yourself away, as Jabril did earlier. Ray Ray closing in on you with the assist, of course. You're going to try to make your way out of there. Going into Sagemu is a really good idea to cancel some of this assist action from Ray. Be careful about how you call these assists, though. Potential for a... Uh... Yeah, the Super tried to go through. Jam Session just barely clips his toes. Boy, I get so sick of Jam Session, bro. Last year in there, almost gets the air to air, very, very close. I've actually interrupted Sogenmu though, a meter off the table. Yeah, the girl, definitely meterless right now. Two bars, gonna go for that, straight into the spear flame. Watch the time, hit the assist a little bit, tries to get aggressive, there's the throw. But a counter punch from Jabril, he's gonna X. Oh my goodness, and Ray Ray looking maidenless now, about to lose Dr. Doom. We're in the same situation as last time. He's already worried about what he's going to have to do here. Jarrell is two for two on incoming mix-up with zero. Oh. Maybe a little too much push block there just before he touched the ground. Either way, Magneto is out. Is he going to hard drive this time, though? What's he thinking? Oh, wait till the last second. Doesn't let himself get crossed up on the hard drive. Has to take the meaty fireballs, but still a great situation for Ray. You get the fight. I can't believe he found a gap there to even build a hard drive. You know part of Jabril's game plan is to keep you locked down. Oh my goodness, Jam Session pushes him back into the corner, has to eat a lightning mix up, and that's all she wrote for Sentinel. But if I never see another guitar again, it would be too soon. <laughs> Unfortunately, Buck of the Bolt gonna get zapped up just a little bit. Make it two to one now, Jabril again. Safe and solid. Ray still in it though. All these interactions have been very, very close, but the point war is just deciding so much. Execution error. Very lucky doesn't get hit for it though. Yeah, I do feel like there are very few players active today that can keep up with Ray Ray's mutual or even beat it. Jabril might be one of those people. I mean, he's proven it right here in those last two games, right? Yeah, his timing on push block is so good too. He's negating a lot of the plus frames that you normally see from Magnetic Blast, which is so, so strong. It's really the key to getting away from Magneto if he's willing to play this in and out game. Yeah, I feel like a lot of zeros actually see Ray Ray's Mag Blast and his assists come in and get a little bit too aggressive. Jabril likes to play the back and forth, wants to take his time, wait for the right opportunity, and strike. Yeah, definitely poetry in motion. These two guys that'll play 90 seconds of neutral, they don't care. Yeah, I wasn't talking about Ramora, by the way. I was, <laughs> wasn't calling anybody out, but I know, I, I can't see a Twitch chat, but I feel like they're saying Ramora. I know he's there. <laughs> he's always there. Oh, gets the clean hit, though. Nice conversion on the standing heavy. Yeah, Dr. Doom luckily able to escape this time, but not for long, maybe. Mm, same side. Wow, and then very late cross up on the lightning. Was it cross up though? I mean, no, it was my was best guess. Was it? My best guess. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh man, the worst part about those mix ups is only Ray's knows. Yeah, <laughs> even Jabril doesn't know, and he's the one that did him. <laughs> okay, opportunity for hard drive. Oh no, the opportunity's canceled, but luckily Green Buster, he's still in it. Oh, and no punish from the hard drive there. Not in position, maybe. Oh, he had time to dash up. He gets the clean hit, Jabril. This could be it. And that is it. Jabril is able to move on to winner's finals here. Dude, three to zero. Incredible stuff. Safe and solid is going to be moving on. Ray Ray, down to the losers, though. Still in it. It's like good morning Vietnam, but good evening to Ray Ray. <laughs> oh, That's man. all right. Ray's still going to have a chance here in loser's side, obviously. Not exactly sure how the bracket is uh, shaping up right now, but...
Yeah, still a lot of Marvel to be played. We haven't even gotten into the losers matches. It feels like it's been an eternity with those two playing it as patiently as they have. But that's just the winner's side completed. We still got the losers to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got Cane Blue River versus Ronan Healy. We got Flocker versus Noel. And Ray is at, we could see a Ray versus KBR match soon. I'm not trying to discount my boy Ronan, but you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna say I wanna see the Ray versus Kane. Or, <laughs> and we could also see a Coach Steve going up against one of these two guys we got on the stage right now. Absolutely, Flocker and Noel. So Flocker was able to get, I believe Flocker's qualifying match was a clutch close one against KJ. KJ Master, so. Oh, damn. Yeah. KJ has been stepping it up and yes, yes. grinding, too, so that's big. It's good to see Florida in the bracket, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not LT, but it is Florida, and that's what really matters. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we'll see. Uh, Flocker's been looking in shape. I, I've definitely appreciated it. Seen him play online. He's been playing a multitude of teams, but he's been going back to his roots, playing his normal stuff, and it looks good on him. Definitely, for sure. I mean, obviously, a previous EVO champion from uh, 2013 or 1979, I don't know. It was a while ago. <laughs> Many moons. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, he's back at it again. I feel like people thought he fell off. I don't think he ever fell off. No, I, I think I think his computer just doesn't do as well for online, you know? It's like riding a bike. Yeah, he's got like a, a Pentium 2 processor on his PC or something. Who? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what a Pentium processor is? Oh, uh, stop putting me on the mic with these Zoomers. <laughs> Oh, uh, but facing off against Noel. Noel obviously has, uh, through the ages, has adapted to the game, has played a multitude of teams, started out with playing the Wolverine stuff, and is one of the best Logans for a very long time. But now, he's shaping the meta himself with that Dormammu Doom Phoenix. He plays it so lame, and it's so good to watch. You know, I kind of miss Wolverine Noel, but you know what? As long as he's winning matches, I'll take it. And we'll see if he's able to cash out a little bit of a win here. Not the way you want to start, though. Flocker is able to get the up lightning into the buster. Honestly, I kind of miss Wolverine Noel. Okay, snap. Trying to cook the bird, and he does. Very nice. Yeah, even though Phoenix is dead, I mean, that part of the game plan is gone. We still got another game plan. I mean, that's, this isn't it, but, you know, it's there. Super Super, gonna get his team back into a more favorable order here. That stalking player still out there. And he saw the push guard. He push blocked it just on field. Or maybe sound, maybe he heard it. I don't know. I just like to make him seem cooler than he is, you know? Hype your boys up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no! Gets him with the meteor straight into the Super. Missiles are coming. It's gonna do a little extra damage, but it's not gonna affect things too much here. And tag, Blocker gets out safely. Oh, Virgil is super dangerous for Dormammu here, especially with the teleport, the super. Wow, Inferno does a ton of damage. Well, Heavy does actually connect, goes to the flame carpet afterwards, and then slows down, still has a bar left over for himself. Man, Noel's doing a fantastic job of playing keep away from Virgil, though. Oh, even with the X Factor, he loses Virgil. This could spell trouble here. Double teleport, and he dashes away. Good movement again. And Noel, Dormammu is not a fast character. Noel makes it look quick. Oh yeah, and Noel was able to wait out the X factor there, so now he's able to go back to his chip game. If he can get away from Zero for just a second, please. Oh, missiles maybe save the day. Goes for the meteors. Is going to cook Hawkeye. Oh, Blocker's in real bad shape right now. Less than 20% health left on Hawkeye, and he's gonna have to eat all this. Oh, that is done. Noel able to take the first game here, feeling himself as he should. Even after Phoenix died, like I said, he went straight to plan B. Maybe that was plan A all along, right? Give your opponent a false sense of confidence. I just wanted a level two x factor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, man. Could have picked a better meat shield, though, you know? Put Thor back there. Nobody's gonna snap Thor, though. Oh, okay. Opportunity for a potential air throw there. What a block string, and in the end, up lightning gets to hit again. Yeah, and that was accidental because he teched backwards thinking he was going to avoid that situation, and somehow Zero breaks the laws of physics. Appreciate that snap. Went back the same side there. I love it. But yeah, Noel's not falling for it. Already lost half the health on Phoenix, though, from Chip alone. 
Got to get away some of that Doom Health. It's a common thing you see for these Phoenix teams willing to go for the hard tag and take one on the chin just to be able to get a little more meter. Yeah, but this puts Phoenix in the second position here. So Flocker does have the option to kill Doom if he wants and still has a chance to kill Phoenix before she can get the five. Well, it's going to be cutting it very, very close here. 75% of a meter left over. Oh, almost got hit there. The tip of the lightning. Should be good, though. Actually had Meteor stored up. And this basically guarantees Dark Phoenix here, unless Flocker's got some anti-Phoenix tech we don't know about. Oh, it's called Virgil. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Only has one bar, though. Like you always talk about, Meteor's so, so important in situations like this. Does get the pop in the air, though. Yeah, you definitely want to be able to save enough meter for yourself so you get a chance to play. You don't want to pop in unfavorable situations here. What a block from Flocker, though. And, oh, he's going to get hit by Fireballs? No, he goes right through it. He said it's over. Wow, definitely was not expecting it. I think all of us thought that Fireball was actually going to connect. But somehow Virgil finds a He always finds a way. Wow, we had those cameras so I could see the sweat. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, just barely from Axis finds the snap. Phoenix gets the first thing coming in, dashes away, staying active, but there's the throw. Can you convert this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Hawkeye. Okay, finished him off. Really good situation here again. And then whatever side that was, Doom gets just absolutely obliterated. Look, as a commentator, I like to try to explain what's happening, but I don't know. I believe the formal terminology for this is zero game. Yeah. <laughs> Although Mamu is still on the table with plenty of meter and X-Factor 3. Oh, I don't know where he found that throw, man. It was easier to find Waldo. Oh, no. Has a bar and a half. Has X-Factor. How do you spend it here? That's a good way. That's a good way. No meter for himself, though. Oh, is he blocking? I have to use that X-Factor now. Snap your fingers. Oh. Oh, my God. He does a step, bro. <laughs> it's a through. Takes a kill. Almost hey, has a bar. He can do it all by himself, you know? Walk. He gains the meter off of it, too. He knew it was going to gain its standing life. It doesn't work. Pixel health, though, from Hawkeye. Is he going to bring it back? No, he's still good. Runs up and goes for the slide. No way. Oh, no X Factor left. He could get chipped out here. Gets the hit with the try dash. Wow. And the readjustment in the chair. Trying to keep himself ready in this two to one. Dude, Noel, I feel like in a lot of situations he had a couple bad breaks in certain tournaments. This might be his moment. We'll see if he can push it all the way through. He's going to have to still get through Flocker first. He may be in the lead right now, but this is a previous Evo champion we're talking about. Yeah, lead's not a lead. You gotta get used to that in Marvel. Launcher round start, the Ghost of Tong. You piloted it for a second there, bro. <laughs> right. I love the way Noel plays, because he does such a great job of playing conservative, you know, playing defensive, trying to zone, and then eventually just be like, you know what, sometimes I'm just gonna raw launcher you, bro. Oh, but unfortunately, that's not going to be the energy we're going to find here today. Gets the hit. Romamu expecting a snap here. Maybe going to kill through. No, I like this. Honestly, though, Noel has definitely had some success, even with Phoenix dying. Phoenix hasn't gone dark yet, but Noel has been able to pull it through with Dormammu. So maybe killing Dormammu first and then getting the Phoenix might have been the better play. We'll find out. That was such a grody mix up there. Lands and just releases the buster. Who knows what side he was going to end up on. Somehow he gets back to the same time, keeps corner. Look, man, humans can't react to that kind of stuff. He's not a human, he's a robot. That's true. He doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> and once again, Dormammu all by himself. Can Noel make this comeback happen again? Oh. Okay, somehow managed to survive the layers. I don't know where he got those spells from, man. What? The Hawkeye assist. Yeah, kind of snuck that one in there. I didn't see those arrows. Wow. So that's going to take us to a game five. And like you said, it's never over till it's over. All the way down to this, and this is loser side. Somebody has to go home. 
medium lightning actually does hit. Can't get a confirmation off of it though. Odd situation, but Noel looking in control. They're all doing all the smart stuff right now, avoiding Flocker at every chance. Flocker's trying to close the distance. He doesn't want to play the long mutual game with Noel, especially with Dormammu, and the Buster closes it in. Okay, going to go for the one extension here. A little bit extra damage, a little bit extra meter. No harm, no foul. Once again with the snap on Phoenix. We haven't seen Phoenix gone dark yet. We're at a game five. Okay, if she goes down again. He's gonna have to do it without her one more time. Moose gets the throw. That would have been a huge back throw. Yeah, we'll see if Noah can get out of this corner here, though. I'm oh, gonna DAC out here. Going to opt for the stalking player. Instead, try and go for the damage. Actually beats the stalking player with the buster. Yeah, that level three buster came in so fast. Oh, no. Dormammu gonna go down. It's all up to the Doom. Now, we haven't seen the Doom do as much work as the Dormammu, but I know Noah can play this character very well. Let's see if he gets a chance to play this character, though. Does get out of the corner here. Oh, show me a little mad villainy. Dash up a little bit, not quite there. I thought he was gonna look for a throw. Instead, he goes for the super. Flocker was thinking the same thing, it looked like. Yeah, Flocker forced the X Factor there if he wanted to save zero. Oh, oh my goodness, does it matter? Blesses him somehow, and he's building so much more off of this, too. Oh, this is super dangerous here. The incoming not working all, but persistence pays off with the box slash medium. Oh no, coming into this terrible matchup though. If you can keep him in block stun, you can make this work. Yeah, the matchup's only bad once Hawkeye gets space. As long as you keep him in the corner here, you're good. Oh, Hawkeye got space though. And that foot dive. Oh my goodness, genius level stuff from Noel. Foot dive in the level three. Another opportunity. Gets a mix. We mix the bashing. Oh my goodness, comes down with the jump medium. Hits him on the other side, and that's gonna be it for Flocker. Noel's gonna be able to keep it pushing. Pop off, Noel, pop off for all of us. Straight out through it. Noel, incredible stuff to take it over Flocker. And again, that was losers. So Flocker gonna be out at seventh here. Yeah, well still though, it's still all love, man. We're all friends at the end of the day. Match definitely that could have gone either way, but well deserved by Noel. And off into the crowd he goes. He oh said, man! Feed me my next opponent. He says. We had to lose another Florida player though. That that makes me a little sad here. But we got one more Florida player coming up. Ronan Healy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. This man is all business. Yes, he is. Let's go, Ron. You uh, gotta know it. But coming up. Oh, what's he doing? He said. He said. Servant, bring me my fight stick. Br <laughs> bring me my gaming apparatus. I respect it. There you go. So Rona Healy. Loose. <laughs> Rona <laughs> Bro, breaks. What, what does that even mean? Uh, that's, a, well, that's a Walking Dead joke. Let's shout uh, the production. Okay. Going for it. <laughs> Explain it to me. Try hard on that one. But on the other side of it, there's going to be another uh, past time champion, KBR. KBR, the EVO champion from 2015, making his grand return to Marvel in the States here with a top eight placing already. This man is the one that sent Liberal Terminator out of the tournament. And I'm gonna keep bringing up LT's losses because I love to rub it in on LT, bruh. <laughs> Sorry, LT, I know you're still listening. <laughs> oh, man. Wave, he waving at me. K I think I was with just one finger, though. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ronan, though, Ronan does have a lot. He happens to, he may or may not, have a good amount of Hulk practice. So he does have some experience in this matchup. Look, I'm not going to say I have any influence over how Ronan plays, but me and him have played thousands and thousands of games, right? But I've also played quite a few handful of games against KBR. Mm -hmm. And KBR is way better than me. So <laughs> none of that practice is going to oh, matter. Man. He's going in blind. <laughs> <laughs> he has never played this matchup oh, before. Man. It's difficult, too, with drones. Drones changes the perspective of things so much. You can get away with so much more with Hulk. You can play so much more greedy knowing that they have your back. Yeah, both of these guys have drones, though. So mm. this is about to be a lame fest for sure. 
These guys are going to be zoning each other out. But, you know, at the end of the day, KBR has to get in, right? Gamma Wave isn't just, it just isn't strong enough as a tool. I really like KBR's glasses here, though. What's this? These are these are very, uh, like, Austin Powers style glasses. Is that what he, am I wrong? Trigun. Tri oh, sorry. True. Sorry. Trigun. Yeah, sorry. I always mix up Austin Powers and Trigun. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, they're the same thing, right? <laughs> what's the What's the main character's name from uh, from Trigun? Austin Va Vash. <laughs> is it Is it Austin Powers? <laughs> oh, Austin my God. Powers. I'm sorry. All right, Ronan, can you get your space? Can you maintain? Can you get away from KBR, dude? KBR coming in. I don't think KBR is going to go in ham like you would expect from most Hulk players. This guy is better than most Hulk players. All right. Oh, never mind. He's, go he's going in ham. He's going in ham. He don't care. Ooh, did a good job with Larry there to punish the assist a little bit, but takes a lot of damage from the super. And Ronan commits back heavy. Goes straight for the shield skills. That's the thing Ronan does. He catches you off guard, right? You think you have the big body character, your opponent should be afraid, and every once in a while he just dashes up and surprises you. Oh, drops the confirm, but still mashing on that back H. Oh, okay. Half the mouth beam, unfortunately, gonna take a lot of damage from this. It's not quite gonna be enough to kill, but still a great situation, and is able to avoid the Lariat. Uh, going for a little hard drive action there. Oh, and able to get the throw punish. Oh, wow. We just do it. We just do it. We have no fear of this team. Dude, I mean, that is a, one of the game theories behind playing against big bodies. As soon as you play afraid, you lost. That's true. That's true. That's what I depend on when I'm playing. Oh, look at this crowd popping off. Get hype. We love that. Florida loves the hometown hero. There's a throw, though. Take the throw. Definitely a situation that comes up a lot. I got an H button, too, bro. Oh, but the Lariat Assist. It hurts a lot when you're playing as Hulk Hagar and you get the Lariat Assist and you don't get a hit confirmed, right? Because then they're reminded that you have a Lariat Assist, but you could get rewarded for it. Oh, the drones actually delete a lot of that mix-up potential here. Goes for the Gamma Charge, and there's the Lariat again. Same situation. Oh, no, but Taskmaster is finally going down here. Wow. I think that I think that mix-up has been used before at like a pretty big tournament called Evo. I've seen it once or twice. Yeah. Follow up, easy kill, and I mean that is the other game theory behind this team big body. Every touch has to kill no matter what it is. And no meter too? Optimized. I have never seen an optimal combo in my life until today. Oh, and what? chose to go for the throw after the X Factor. Genius level stuff. Totally unexpected. Okay, flies in. Going for the mediums here. A little bit of a gun to battle. The air to air. He gets it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's Ronan playing anymore. Did Ray Ray take over? He's playing on. Ray Ray's playing on a wireless fight stick somewhere out there, oh, bro. God. Whoa, he gets it again. Are you serious? And he's got plenty of meter to make this possible here. Oh, robot, don't let me down. I want to believe. Can you make it work one more time? One more super. Ronan's going to get another one. What a comeback. We got Ronan Healy playing out of Tampa, Florida. 2-0 right now over KBR, the 2015 EVO champion. One of the best players in the world to have ever played this game. Uh, you know what? Ronan ain't doing nothing right now, bro. This is a KBR game. OK. Extra damage there on the relaunch. Gonna optimize this as far as possible. And he's gonna snap, actually. Respect the robot, he says. Oh, and just hops over for the low, but no hit confirmed, no launcher. That wasn't even a drop hit confirmed. That was just a drop combo, period. I know KBR has got to be tight about that one. Oh, double overhead, and that's a very late. I don't know what it is, but that's so tricky. Oh, you know, nothing to be upset about when he can just go and do the same mix up again, right? Bro, how many times can you do this, bro? <laughs> it's cheap. Okay. Looks, a, looks a little cheap to me. I don't know. Cross up. He just kicks him in the head. He says, I'm the real robot, but it doesn't matter. The jump loop, you're a little too tall. KBR is playing Magneto, not Hope, bro. Hit him with the triple overhead. Okay, finish him. DP, very nice. Doesn't he have to spend the bar again? Taskmaster, a tall ass from this guy. Are uh, we expected just to sit there and fear? 
Oh no. Great thinking there from KBR. Definitely the Gamma Crush has too many startup frames. Went straight for the DHC. There we go. This is the Evo champ I know. This is my king. <laughs> Very well controlled. DP in the start. He is going to block it this time. And yeah, using that beam. Uh, same uh, kind of uh, thing as Ray Ray's team. That double neutral assist. It gives you so many options. Yeah, he does play the Ray Ray shell. But, you know, as a, as a man of this particular classification, he could not play Magneto. He had to play Taskmaster. Won't say what that classification is, though. Oh, my, my goodness. Oh, my God. It classifies that speed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. Gamma Wave to come through. He is going to be able to take a kill. Again, no meter, but the X-Factor already popped. Oh, and this mix-up works 100% of the time. Why call it a 50-50 when it's 100%? There we go. Just continues on. It's optimal enough, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know, <laughs> there are rumors that say KBR is still optimizing this combo to this day. Well, it's able to super jump, so it did completely avoid a lot of that. It's going to go for the super again. Not close enough for Lariat Threat. Yeah, he wants to be able to determine. Oh, there it is, the crouching medium with the three hits of armor. Definitely beats out Hope there. We've seen this movie once before. So scary up here. He gets both! No! Oh, Hagar does drop out here. He's gonna be able to, oh, what is that? He backdashed instead of forward dash by accident. And that's gonna spell trouble here. Oh, and he just barely confirms it here. He can go for the loop, but this can potentially drop. This is scary. Yeah, Sentinel does quite often drop out on this against Sentinel. But no drops here. We're gonna go straight into the DHC after the second super. Damn. And maybe being a little too comfortable here potentially. It brought it back two to two. I don't think he was comfortable. It's just one simple input error holding back as he dashed there. Definitely could have been a win on his side, but KBR obviously not making those kinds of mistakes. Playing evasively, but giving up a ton of screen real estate here. Needs to fight back to the mid screen, and there he goes. He goes for the cross up just for that, and he climbs the tree, the big red tree. Yeah, this is the first step to victory here. Get rid of this monster. I, I won't call Hulk a monster. That's a sensitive dude. Oh no, but this robot, that's kind of a monster. Yeah, yeah, this Taskmaster isn't sensitive at all. Sentinel just lost his friend, and you killing him too? <laughs> oh no, here he comes, the mayor. And Ronan backs it all the way off. There's, there is an amount of, you can be too patient in this situation though, gotta be careful. That, I don't, I didn't expect that to work. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea why he did that, but it did work. Lines the hit, has meter. Good for the relaunch, he's gonna expect her right now. He gets a side switch though. Oh, I don't think that was the optimal combo that he was going for, but you know what? This still kind of works out for him. No, 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 no. Oh, but he double foot dives, Ronan Healy. Oh, continuing to do the unexpected here. Foot dives, winning matches. All of this is unexpected for us from Ronan Healy. Look at him, breathing that sigh of relief. Somehow makes it work. Good stuff to Ronan. Headed on forward through the bracket. Man, nice shirt. Hey, at least we got one Florida player <laughs> still left. All right, since it's not Liberal Terminator. But shout outs to Cane Blue River for coming all Seriously. the way out here to play in this tournament, putting on for Marvel still. That's what we like to see and also for beating Liberal Terminator. I can't believe it. Look, not many people will have done so. At Combo Breaker, no one could beat Liberal Terminator. Zero people beat him. At Texas Showdown, zero people beat him. But two people beat him this weekend. Idom, who's sitting in winner's finals, and came Blue River. Damn. That's crazy. That's the energy, though. That's what I like to see, well, I specifically from uh, from KBR. Yeah. Seeing players like that, seeing everybody come out, continues to, to support Marvel and continue to do the big things that they do as we go back to the bracket here to take a quick little look. So, as we've said, on the loser side here, we still have Ray Ray and Ronan and Coach and Noel. On the winners, Idom and Jabril. So there's going to be a lot more action to come. As we get it going through, I believe it's going to be Coach versus Noel as the next match coming up. 
And this is gonna be a, kind of a tough one here. I actually really, really like Nova going into the Dormammu, so there's a, a, a lot to unpack when it comes to that. Also, Coach's team has one of the best mid-screen snaps possible in this game. That grapple mix-up is damn near unblockable in so many situations. So we'll have to see how it ends up being decided here. Coach versus Noel, though, I know that that's one of the most frustrating things about playing against players like Noel is that uh, a lot of people like to complain about Phoenix. They like to call it a crutch, things like that. Noel is one of those players where we saw it earlier today already. Even when the bird gets cooked, he's still more than capable of making these uh, these situations happen. Look, man, Phoenix is just a distraction that Noel uses to win matches. All right, at this in, in this point of the meta, a lot of times it's not even. I don't think it's a crutch. I think it's actually holding Noel back because he's got to play against these Virgils and these Striders and all that. I think Phoenix does struggle somewhat in some of those matchups, but you know what? He doesn't have to deal with that right here. He just has to worry about Spencer. Innovation so far, though. Okay, double kick, but the missiles were already on the way up, so it's able to keep him completely safe. And he gets the mix, almost goes for two. Hey, one is enough here when you're talking about Coach Steve. As long as you got the character lead here. Oh, no, he might regret that, though. Because <laughs> Coach Steve is going for two, and he's kept both of them in. Wow, he's going to just absolutely destroy them with a the forward super. You can't even see the life bar on Nova. That is the most pixel of help. Okay, one guess to rule them all. Double zip. There was so much going on here, the, the game actually froze. Okay, sets up the trap. Looking for the mix up here. Got to be careful how you approach him, though. Two-button tech. No, coming out with the defensive buttons here. Wants to keep Coach Steve at bay. He knows that he still has a chance here. Even with just Phoenix not at five meters left. That's one way to start. Okay. Two characters here at ship. I know it's easy to uh, forget because of the life totals here, but there is still a Nova to come in. Oh, and Coach Steve doesn't have any meters. Spent it all on that bionic arm that didn't pan out. Oh, okay. Now, almost an even matchup here since Coach Steve still doesn't have meter. Wow, finds a crazy cross up there with the jumping heavy. He says, you know, Nova got dolphin kick, I got the reverse. Not sure what the absorption was for, but it's working out perfectly for him right now. He still won the match. Noel just did that with, like, I, I, Vanilla Phoenix, regular Phoenix. I don't know what to call Phoenix when she doesn't go dark. Oh, okay. Just Phoenix. As, as Jean. Jean. Jean Grey. Goes into the carpet there, but it had already called Doom Beam. Falls out a little bit farther away. Rocket Punch comes through. So now, a little bit less of a threat with the meter. Escape, starting up some, but there's the air throw, and luckily Nova's air throw takes forever, so all the missiles pass. You know, that's one of the frustrating things about getting thrown by Nova, is you just have to stare at it. You have to look, think about what you did. What an up back from Noel, earns this hit completely on defense. It's the TAC. He's gonna be able to convert, that's gonna kill Nova. He TACs again! What is this SoCal? <laughs> Maybe just making an adjustment there. Maybe he didn't like his position on the infinite. Either way, it works out. That's the one thing you don't have to worry about as a Phoenix player. You never have to worry about your opponent countering up. Oh. Nice block, and then he swings, but unfortunately gets a quarter circle. A weird situation, and Coach somehow turns into an overhead. Yeah, Coach often goes for a quite, uh, quite a bit of lows there, so Noel actually blocking low is not unexpected. Mm, and he's able to hit the rep, so the hard part is over. Yeah, but he definitely gave Phoenix the five meters that she needed here. But he does have anti-Phoenix tech as well. You gotta watch out. Anything can happen here. I love that tag. Still has the spells charged up as well. Three meteors and just charge up a little bit more. Inferno is going to get a little bit of chip, but he's not going to get anything for it. Super jumps away and blocks the grapple. Not really making any forward progress on this, though, which is difficult. Oh, 
Talk. Noel able to contest with the crouching light. Works out perfectly here. Even had a little Phoenix extension. Well, the guarantee chip afterwards. Here we go. Super comes out. Doom gonna beat most of the meteors here and save his own X Factor. Too far. Try to X Factor throw. Oh, and once again contesting. This time with a crouch medium. Great anti air to stop the tri dash. Noel not scared to push the button when he needs to. Oh, and again, call that Phoenix. I just like to see Phoenix out there. It's part of the team. You know, sometimes you gotta have moral support for your other characters, you know? We're gonna need the moral support for Coach Steve here. He's got a power up to get back into this one. There's been some close interactions, but Noel keeps getting the better of it. Here we go. This is a really nice opportunity for Coach. He's gonna be able to get a mid-screen snap if he wants it. You know, Coach Steve, you can never count this man out. I've seen him come back from the worst situations here. And this is a good start. Killing Phoenix, no problems. No bar required too, really good. Has two human rock punches if he wants them. And I think this team set up here actually does better than what you saw from Flocker going up against Noel after he killed Phoenix, right? You're talking about Nova and Spencer. Dormammu the danger. Oh, didn't actually get it there. Canceled a little too early. Has to X-Factor, finds a throw. Everything comes up Noel. I don't even know how you throw from that position. I I can't imagine how you're thinking throw. He the, launches twice! The double launcher! <laughs> Dude, you get a launcher there too? Are you serious? What is Noel doing? This is crazy! He's just making it up as he goes at this point. He doesn't care about the rules. This is open world marvel! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so you've been building out his tree sk uh, skill tree there. Oh, I like this. As soon as you see your opponent commit a little too high in the air, starts going for the missiles. Fortunately, it does kill a lot of your X Factor time, but it gets a lot of chip down. So, Steve, just the Doctor Doom away from being eliminated in this bracket. Like I said, you can never count Coach Steve out, even in this situation here. Oh, but the Meteors are really starting to add up here. He has another one in the chamber. This might chip. Uh, you, maybe you can start counting them out right here. Oh, he looks for the hard kick, but Noel is able to still lock it down, and with a bang, he's going to continue forward in the bracket. Noel is on a roll right now, guaranteeing himself in the top four. I like what I'm seeing. Uh, definitely an exciting player to get to watch. And like I said before, I, I got to talk to Noel a bit about some of the other matches. He felt like he uh, had some weird execution errors that are not like himself in Dallas. So it's good to see him playing the way he knows he can. Hey, man, get that rust off, get a little bit of practice, and uh, maybe win CEO, right? That's how it works. So a lot of competitive players in it. It's another matchup that we are definitely familiar with coming up now, Ray Ray and Ronan Healy. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for a KBR versus Ray Ray match because it's good for the YouTube views. But, you know, that's my boy. Ronan <laughs> is my boy. I've been playing with this kid. We've been playing Marvel together since the game came out. And I think it came out when he was like in the second grade or something like that. I don't know. He, he was like 13. Ronan, how old were you when the game came out, bro? He 12. Said, he said 12? 12, he said. Damn. That's OD. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, this guy, this guy was coming up to, to my video game store and entering all the tournaments, and we would play Marvel there for hours. He would, you know, he would be bodying grown men. Me especially, bro. He, honestly, I, <laughs> this guy has been doing it for years. Now he's in his 20s. He's got a beard. That's a grown man. He got a real job. Yeah, he got a real job. <laughs> Back then, he was just mowing lawns for allowance from his, for his parents and stuff. It's all right, though. Oh, dude. And he still hasn't lost it in Marvel. Now, him and Ray have played quite often over the years, right? Ray has often gotten the better of him, but Ronan has taken one or two before. Absolutely. It's definitely Ray Ray favor, though, as you said. But we'll see how it turns out. Ronan, uh, Ronan Artie, I think Ronan Artie punching up right now. He's doing a great job of staying in this, man. You, you, you say punching up like Ronan doesn't deserve to be here, hey, man. No, Come no, on no, now, no, don't no. talk I'm down biggest, on our I'm the, friend. I'm the biggest supporter of Ronan in the whole world. Let's go, Ron. Look, I, but I'm going to say, though, Ray Ray's actually my favorite player. So, <laughs> you know, regardless of who wins, we all get to win here. Okay. Character getting locked in, expecting no surprises here. 
Taskmaster is a matchup against Magneto where I feel like you can definitely jump scare Magneto in some weird spots, but I don't think Ray will get caught off guard like that. You know, Taskmaster definitely takes advantage of you if you make any mistakes in, in movement, neutral, whatever. But you're right, Ray Ray doesn't make a lot of mistakes in those situations, but everyone is human. Except for Jabril, I saw him play earlier. Not human. It ain't real. <laughs> Oh, EM Disruptor, very, very good for stopping the assist as well. You gotta be careful about how you call your drones. It can very easily get sniped out. Block, able to protect the toes. Avoid the drones of his own. Oh, but what an air throw. Somehow sneaks it in. Talking about jump scares here. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about Ray Ray. Oh, get rid of Passmaster here. Ronan being left to just Doom and Sentinel is real rough, because obviously that's a part of Ray Ray's shell, right? He's so familiar with these two characters. Okay. Odd situation for the mix up there. Didn't get too much for it. Comes down with the M with the missiles and uh, the drones, excuse me. Have to close things out. Chose not to actually punish that. Uh, he could have definitely gone in. He was in a perfect position to, but he wanted to be cautious of the DAC potentially. Ray doesn't take a lot of risks here. <laughs> this dude is investing mostly in CDs and mutual funds. You know what I mean? No Bitcoin for him. Oh, dude, the volatility. He said, I don't like it. Trying to get paid out here. Super comes through. He's going to kill with one. No, it needs to go for the CHT. But still, the big stuff is going to be potent here. R drives to get out of the situation as Ronan. Really a good call. Magneto doesn't have a lot of punish options except for Super. I don't like that. X Factors just to get hit by Mag Blast. You're in a position here where Ray Ray can just kind of choose not to play with you. Oh, but this Mag Blast. Yeah, he, he knew exactly what to do. And Ray, perfect punish on the hard drive. See a lot of players missing that these days, but there is a guaranteed punish for that. Yeah, it's about the timing of the push block there. You can usually just mash it too, but. Yeah, that's the strategy. Just mash it all the way to the end and then push back in H. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Just like this win here from Ray Ray. Ready? Fight. Back into it. Ray obviously up one now. Trying to get a little more aggressive is Ronin. In certain situations here, you can see he tries to take a shot. But when he sees Ray Ray's assist is gone, you can see he always takes a little bit of space with back heavy. If only just a car forward to take uh shoot from a better range. Yeah, Ronan has a lot of angles he can attack, but unfortunately, none of those tools are as good as what Ray Ray has with Magneto. That was really messed up. Pulled him farther into the drone. And Ronan's lucky to have escaped that one for sure. Yeah, but he's going to leave the Doom on point for a little bit just to fight it out. Tries to go for some missiles here. It doesn't actually get him too much. Ends up having to push block and super jump away. Oh, and these drones, though, as much as Ronan has experience with them, Ray Ray is just that much better, right? Oh, and then the feet as well. You knew the Doom Beam was coming, so he wanted to jump out of there so bad. At this point, for Ronan, if you could find a way to get yourself out and get the Taskmaster in, that would be huge. For Ray, you can see there's big gaps in the projectiles he's throwing. He's scouting that hard tackle a lot. Yeah, he definitely wants to make sure he doesn't put himself in a bad position to miss a free punish, right? There we go, waiting to do that hard drive there. And went straight for the up barrows. Ooh, and he gets him. Oh, the up. Things are looking up for Ronan right now. Yeah, definitely a much better situation, but still a tough matchup here. Gets a lot of damage on Sentinel. It doesn't overcommit, I like that. Oh my goodness, the aggressiveness from Ronan. Ray Ray out of position there. Has two bars. Spending a boat, that's gonna be a kill. It's gonna be all up to the robot here, but as we always say, this is the best Sentinel in the business. Yeah, but I like I like the way Ronan tackles this, right? Even though Ray Ray may be better with the Sentinel, obviously Ronan with both of his characters and the difference in play style, and he knows what to look out for. He doesn't know anything. Oh my God. Oh. So. A little something here, you gotta be careful. Do not call that assist, he calls the drones. Please be careful. Are you coaching from the commentary hey, table? Oh. 
Bro, somebody get the T.O. over here, bro. Man, proxy. <laughs> bro, you're right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an air throw. Oh, Ray Ray said, thanks for coming to me. Made this a lot easier. Three seconds left on the clock. X Factor gonna run out. He's gonna have to do it clean. Is this gonna combo? No, no. Sentinel sucks, especially against Sentinel. The, oh, it once again misses. Bloodworks rocket punch, I, dude. Ray Ray can't believe it. He's like, hey, oh, you you use that move? I didn't know people still did that. That's old school. <laughs> so I that's, guess. Be, that's before Ronan's time. Upward <laughs> rocket punch. Some MVC two stuff for sure. <laughs> Follow up, gonna go for the snap. Sentinel back in it. Missed times his mix up though. Gets out for free. Pretty safe there afterwards and gets the easy punish again. Once again, Ray Ray obviously knows how to punish everything Sentinel does. This is I've seen it all. <laughs> the double plasma beam in the foot dive extension. Built him so much far and he's gonna guarantee the kill. Drones out of the picture, a huge deal. Obviously one of uh, Ronan's strongest characters. Yeah, I think that's usually the difference maker for Ronan. Able to rely on that Sentinel. But uh, now nah, he doesn't have any of that now. Taskmaster by himself, not much of a threat. Doesn't mean that Ronan can't make it happen though. No, he can't make that happen. Wow. Uh, that little delay before he went underneath was so tricky because he looked like he was setting up for the jab and then somehow just goes underground to get behind him. Bruh, I don't understand the decisions and how Ray Ray moves in this game, man. It's, it's beyond my comprehension for sure. Ready? Fight! So I just want, I want to see what kind of core vision this guy has. That's some, uh, <laughs> you got the QB vision on Madden. It's the whole screen, bro. Yeah, definitely, definitely on some big stuff right there. I'm, I'm still on that Michael Vick, you know. <laughs> Stop running, bro. <laughs> Try to go with the horizontal arrows here. Control that space. Ray very intelligently attacking from the 45 as often as possible. But he's not being predictable with it because Taskmaster up arrows is very good for stopping that. Yeah, Ronan definitely threatened there. As soon as Ronan's able to take out a little bit of the assist from Ray, he's able to attack very freely. Okay, he's gonna go for the DHD. He wants to save some of that health, get some of the red light back from Magneto, close the distance with the drone. But Ronan's gonna shoot it up and just try and clear him. I think he tried to super to eliminate all of the drones as well, kind of missed out there. Well, that was almost sick. Stuff, doesn't quite figure it out though. Jumps over the rocks. Little legends of the hidden temple stuff dodging everything. Yeah, but it might be time for Taskmaster to make his exit here one way or another. Oh, get the heart. What in God's name was that? Bro, Ray Ray just moving, bro. We don't need you to understand. Oh. Almost gets confirmed. Ronan actually gets aggressive and tries to take advantage afterwards. That is gonna hit, and both supers gonna do a lot of damage, but not enough to kill. Yeah, great super to kind of counter Ray Ray's movement there. And the alpha counter does not work out. That was alpha counter, right? I didn't imagine that. Yeah, it was looking like it. And normally you'll see that when you go into Sentinel, they'll go straight for the hard drive, but what an air throw here. Knew he was gonna try and go high and climb the tree and is able to get the throw. Okay. Pull, dashes underneath. Gonna have to go for the DHT, forces it. Here comes the drones though. Not situation, works out in the end. Pops the X-Factor, and that was a command throw. Definitely wanted to go for the command throw. Yeah, I can't blame him for that one. Luckily it didn't. You know, luckily the, you know, he was able to miss input there, which put him in a better position. Push the block. Too much kills most of the X Factor time now. 20 seconds left on the clock. Time probably not going to be a factor in this one though. Oh, almost with a confirm from Ray Ray. Oh, damage again. Closes that distance. Rocket punch. Looking for something. Time all of a sudden starting to become a little bit more of a reality here. Looks for the launcher. Ray is just going to decline. Goes for the hard drive. Yeah, Ronan's able to kill Sentinel in the next second here. He still has a chance to do this, but Ray Ray just continuously holding up back, getting out of there, and it's gonna be all over from timeout. Player 
Wow. And that is how it is going to end. Ray Ray is going to be able to seal it. Yeah, that's going to put Ray Ray in the top four situation. Going up against Noel a little bit later. Oh, shots to Ronan, though, doing his thing. We yeah. love to see it. Congratulations to Ronan, the furthest placing Florida Marvel player today. That's your son. That is, yeah, that's my son. <laughs> Oh, man. Good to see him shining, though, and good to see everybody, not only in the chat, but everybody that is here in the venue enjoying some good Marvel. It's a pleasure to have you all here, and it's a pleasure to continue to get to bring this wonderful game to the masses. Definitely. I'm happy to see Marvel is back here at CEO, and also happy to see that Marvel is back at EVO this year. You guys already know, still a little more time to sign up for that as well. We got to get those signups going. You know, if you watch on Fridays, you already know. You already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we, we, uh, we mentioned it here and there. You know. Oh, you but know. like you said, we have actually narrowed it down to the top four now. Yeah, this is looking good. I mean, we obviously expected Jabril here in winner's finals. But Idom is the big pleasant surprise that we did not foresee. All right. I thought it might be Coach Steve. I thought it might be KBR. I thought it might be... Liberal Terminator, and we did not see him. But uh, yeah, like I said, Idom actually able to get a close 3 2 set over LT earlier uh, in the weekend. So, Ready? so I'm just saying, if you, can be, if you can be LT, you can be anybody, all right? That's true. What's, what's a Jabril to a god, bro? That's all I'm saying. Oh, but Idom, man. It is so impressive to get to see him play so many games at a high level. I do believe he's qualified for top 24 winners in Street Fighter VI as well. So he is continuing to shine at everything he does. Like, the guy is so talented. My dude is good at every game. Is he in top eight for Melee too? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, Facing off against Jabril, like we said, this is going to be his toughest match yet. And playing the Point Dante, too. Dante is not an unconventional character. Point Dante, I would definitely call unconventional. Yeah, you don't see that quite often at all. But you know what? I think Dante does a fairly good job against Zero in the point. Hmm? Okay. See if you can figure it out. Looks like our match is going to begin. So we're going to get into it, into the winner's finals now. Flash. Push him away, gets a punish on the assist there, looks for the jumping S, not quite going to be able to find it. Yeah, the projectile aggression at the 99 definitely stuffed any attempts at bolts here. Zero, able to close his distance in. Oh, okay, into the lightning, is going to be able to get the kill on Dante. Zoop, zoop, finish it off. Heavy delays things a little bit. He's up backing out of most of the pressure here, and he's just gonna go for check. Spends the level one just to find out if he's gonna be blocking. On jam session, of course, comes to interrupt. Oh, and does make it to the ground there to actually be able to focus through, and make things work. Yeah, absolutely. Both the brothers Sparta for extensions as well. Isn't even gonna have to spend a bar. Trying to zoop, zoop through, nice tech. He's gonna go for the super. And he's gonna have to X Factor actually puts him into a very weird spot. But things are okay, doesn't get the hit, but it's not a hard knockdown. Didn't have enough charges for it. Super, punish, gets the kill. Zero, he pops. Time to do it again, and the brother Sparta falls, but not quite. He drops the confirm, and Jabril. Oh, Jabril does not give you many opportunities, and when you get them, you have to take them. Oh, the smallest error from Ida, but that is enough to blow the game open. One to zero. He had him. He hit him on the mix, but just missed. He tried to wash the dishes a little too early. Look, Ida may be great at a lot of games, but Jabril is focused on one game and one game only. He's focused on one championship, and that is Marvel. Zip zap, zoop zoop. Gonna take a kill. Easy amount of damage to come through. Only gonna need to spend one bar if he has the extension, which he doesn't even need the DP. So now it's time for the mix. Oh my god. I mean, Dormammu kind of defenseless in that situation. He does have the air dash, but he just kind of has to hold it. Yeah, I mean, even air dash can get stuck, right? So, I mean, what do you really do here? Sometimes zero just takes over, man. You gotta let go. Definitely will from G just take the wheel stuff. Gets the crouching heavy. Here comes Strange. 
Oh, and this time able to block. No, not for too long. Luckily, the confirm doesn't work out. Oh, and we stick a button out there in the swords. We're good. Oh, similar error to last time, though. Misses out. He's going to be looking for an opportunity here. Oh, no opportunities given. Jabril closes the distance, pushes Idom to the other corner. Rinse and repeat, baby. Just gonna zap him up into Rakoha to keep it as simple as possible. That's gonna be two games now. Idom gotta be thinking about Street Fighter Six combos right now, right? It's like, this would have never happened in a fair game. Said, bro, are you serious? I'm not getting medals for this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But just, uh, just to the character select here to slow it down, reset your mental a little bit, try and stifle some of that momentum. No expected swap from these two. They're pretty locked into their stuff. Yeah, both of the, I mean, you, most of the time you don't hear people say zero players are character specialists. You don't hear Virgil players are character specialists. But Jabril is definitely one of those guys, right? It doesn't matter if it's a mainstream character. Whoa, oh, what honest. A, dude, what a frame trap! Idom is a character specialist, bro. This guy is the real specialist right now. Volcano Beehive gonna follow it up twice in a row, build a ton of bar into the million dollars once again. But unfortunately, the game begins now. Yeah, honestly, Adam says, I'm not trying to go back to Street Fighter, bro. I'm a Marvel player. Oh, no. Crouching heavy. He drops the combo, though. And that might be the luckiest break ever. Oh, never mind. Virgil still has turns. Not for your life. Oh, my God. And standing heavy, he, he takes a big enough step forward to cross up. Bro, Virgil just out here playing U Uno, man. He got all the cards, bro. He's like, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. He said, no, you, you, uh, you lose three. <laughs> wow. And that is how it is going to go down. Jabril is going to be able to close that one out off the back of the Virgil. Just so consistent, like we always say. That's just the, the key word for this guy. He just doesn't make mistakes like that. You know, usually Jabril is so dominant, we hardly get to see him even make an X-Factor 3 comeback. I'm surprised he still remember Virgil combos, you know? He just knows Rapid Slash. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the, still a great showing from IDOM. Obviously still in loser's side. Got loser's finals. But, you know, before we get to that, we're going to have to... Have a little loser semis here, an old New York classic. Ooh, that is a, always a fun thing to get to see for sure. And uh, man, I really like the way Noel's playing today. Noel is on fire to say the least, and that's not just because he's playing Dormammu, all right? He is playing so smooth right now, no mistakes. On the other side, Ray, very similarly, is as safe and solid as ever. He just is so risk adverse at every single stage of his gameplay, uh, and it shows. Making it in the top four, no mistake for this guy. Ray, I see Ray, Ray I see you, bro, looking at the screen. I see you. You're like, damn, I'm handsome. I see you. I get it. <laughs> That's we, we agree. We agree. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> yeah, he said, you're right. Yeah, yeah. We got any Ray Ray fans in the crowd tonight? That's what I'm talking about. I love it. Fight. Dude, definitely exciting to get to see. Always, always has been a crowd favorite for, for, for sure. Just based on, I don't know. It's, it's rare to see someone in a game make optimal look cool. You know, that's the th I think a lot of it has to do with uh, just the way he plays, right? It's not particularly cheap at all. It's just so intelligent. You know, it's so well thought out. And he's not playing Virgil Zero Morgan. So that's why people love him. You know, let's keep it real. Shockingly fair for a top tier Marvel player. Yeah. Shockingly fair. Looks like they're having a little bit of discussion. Obviously, that's one of the nice things about Marvel in particular. And uh, fighting games in general, but I like to zoom in on Marvel a little bit. But we are just one big family, dude. It's so fun to watch everybody just have a good time. Yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not a big enough community to be, you know, fighting and picking sides. We all gotta We all got to stick together, man. I mean, I, that's, uh, I like to zoom in on Marvel, but that's just like the fighting game, uh, the, the thing, man. A community effort, right? I guess. Something <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, man. I got to drop one of those in, once a day. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're about ready to go. Hey, you, you are yawning before this match? You, are you tired? You better wake it up. Who's out here yawning, bro? Yeah, there you go. That's what <laughs> 
All right, let's see it though. This is gonna be another exciting one. Can the Dormammu build some space against the relentless chase that Ray is gonna bring? Bro, Ray's been playing Street Fighter Six all day, bro. I'm just hoping he doesn't try to do spinning bird kick. Yeah, he's, all right. He's trying to go. <laughs> okay, charge up, gets the throw. Opportunity? No, a little bit of a draw. Opportunity not quite gonna work out. Beam gets the hit afterwards. I love the use of the assist there to kind of avoid the mix-up situation for himself defensively. Situations before missed out on a little bit of damage here. Ray has gotten thrown twice and really hasn't gotten punished for yet. Now, unfortunately, Ray Ray is losing the neutral battle here with all the spells Noel's been able to capture. It's really those missiles that are coming into play there. Yeah, already buffered the teleport, but Spear Flame saves everything. Back away, builds some room, gets the charge. Meteors continues to chip. And Noel, again, just so content to play low and slow. He's building that meter slowly but surely. He's almost at four already. Yeah, as soon as he has the spells kind of built up, it is up to Ray Ray to find the challenge spot, right? Otherwise, it's just going to be rinse and repeat over and over again. He's just going to keep doing spell after spell, and Ray's not going to be able to get his assists out to be able to play the Ray game. Okay, close those meteors. Close the distance, like you said. He's looking for that spot. Had an opportunity. Still has one more. No, his defense is crazy. Oh, oh Ray almost put himself in a position where he could have gotten air thrown there. Gotta be careful. The medium missed twice in a row. Goes for the dark matter. Missed out on the jumping light as well. Magneto bleeding out, dude. Sentinel has to fight it all on his lonesome. But this is such a hard matchup. And he doesn't even really have a, a way to take a shot with hard drive. Oh, no. Unfortunately, able to capitalize off the air throw there. And with that, you should expect to see, yep, spending the meter. Always worth spending the one to get rid of a character. Yeah, Magneto coming in, unfortunately, in a terrible situation here. Noah with all of the tools on his side. Oh, okay, Dormammu dies for it. x is pop. Goes back to the same side, what a tech. <laughs> he just does it again. He just dashes underneath you, jumps up to grab. Okay, pulls him back to the mid-screen. Magneto gets better mixes here in the mid-screen. Gets the hit. That's a weird pop situation, though. But he was able to block. It doesn't matter, though. Phoenix gets to the other side. Yeah, if she makes you block the pop on the ground, she almost always gets X-Factor and then straight into TK Overdrive. It's a situation that you never want to see, but unfortunately, Ray Ray in X-Factor, it's a weird situation to complain about killing too fast. Hey, you, know, you can't be mad about that. Let's see if Ray Ray can get his neutral started here, though, unlike the last game, where it was definitely all Noel in the first 30 seconds, right? He just didn't really have a chance. It was really all Noel the whole entire match. Face. Shockwave, not gonna hit, nice on fly, but does kill Doom, worth the meter. Yeah, that's huge there. That's very detrimental to Noel's gameplay because he's not gonna be able to charge up the smell spells because you're not gonna have to block missiles. Reversal teleport there. Gets the air though, was just barely able to make it high enough there. As Dorm, a lot of times you'll see them super jump, but they try to dash right out of the range. As soon as he got the meter, he went for the snap there, brought in Phoenix, but Noel able to block. And yeah, looking for the opportunity to hard tag. Unfortunately, hard tag right in the drones here. Ray might go for another one. You know he hates to deal with Phoenix, and this time he's not gonna have to, potentially. Yeah, that guard break in the air throw, but no, she still ends up popping. Maybe he should have popped X for it. Oh, and he tags again. He has to hold an incoming though. This is huge. Opportunity for both players here. The win conditions have been confirmed for both of them at the same time. How is this possible? Oh, but if he was, if Noel was able to get one combo, he's not going to have to hold the incoming because he'll get one meter for his side. That's all he needs, right? And he can, whatever that Phoenix Super is called, where she flies in like a crazy person. No, ties the EM Disruptor. Meteor's actually disrupted. She gets in for free. That's huge. Oh, and he called assist in that situation. Put himself in a lot of trouble here, but he does have two meters to his name. No, now Phoenix has meter two. Gets away, though. Somehow. With some space, smashing the button, trying to get those feathers out. Nice block, great push block, too. The defense from Ray Ray. 
This is feeling crazy right now, and goes for the super. Everything oh. is negated. She's able to swing three meters. Oh, and she's just gonna go for the zoning here. Ray needs a foot, it's a foot dive in a dream. No, but the trap beats it. Oh, Noel does it again. Noel round 2-0 right now. Noel's not gonna be hungry for long, bro, because he's getting some W's. Your boy definitely eating. Teleport through. Trying to go for the mag class here. It's not quite able to connect. Came through. Oh, okay. Maglas not quite able to get there. Love that S. Just come out again. He actually hits him with the beam. You saw he was ready. He went for the launcher. Just a hair miss space. And that was with a no look, too. Oh, and the Phoenix assist is able to help him get a combo here. And Ray Ray's in a tough spot right now. Noel is playing incredible neutral. Oh, that air throw, though, might be the turn he needed. Mm, and it looks like it is. Pulls him back into the drones. You love to see it from Ray. Ray needs three games in a row, man. It's going to be hard to do against the player like Noel, especially playing this team. He's going to go for the DHC. No reason to hold back on spending the meter now. Does get the meteors. A little bit extra damage on Chip. Oh, Magneto dies for this. He was gonna try and look for a DHC, I do believe. Doesn't have time. Yeah, Ray Ray actually in a dangerous situation here. This matchup does not favor Dr. Doom at all. Might favor Sentinel a little better, though. Oh, not a lot of bar left for Dormammu. Goes for the super, it actually does hit. I don't think either player expected it to hit here. Only Dr. Doom left, and the heavy? <laughs> He said, I learned this from Ronan Healy, bro. Wow. Upward rocket punch once again. Ray, cool, calm, collected. Another day at the office for this guy. This is still a big hill to climb, though. So Noel's not going to just lay down here. And he's still got Dark Phoenix on his side. You know how hard it is to beat Dark Phoenix players three games in a row? Oh, snap. Nice block. Able to get away completely, and he gets the tag, and he gets the best possible tag, too, because he gets his team back in the perfect order. It just, the pieces couldn't have fallen better for uh, for Noel there. Oh, but Ray Ray close to taking out Dr. Doom here. One more assist call, and no Ray's going to be looking to snipe. much ground here. Ray is content to stay in the air. A little too far to be able to get the firm good recognition from Noel. Noel's got all these spells charged up at all times. Until you kill Dr. Doom, he's gonna get spells for free. Your, your boy's on the shadow with the money game right now. He loves casting spells, bro. Tiki's again. Goes for the meteors. Look at the chip he did. Oh no, and the air combo, able to get rid of Sentinel. Could spell disaster for him. I love that, goes for the flame cover. Always catching the tech forward. Teleport away, looks like it was gonna be okay. Meteors, absolutely, as soon as those arms go up, you know they're coming out. And he tags. After the tag, he gets punished. Oh, what are we doing here? We're in position. Dad, we're such a lazy cross-up. No, oh, just one Magneto, half a Magneto away from being able to move on to losers finals here. Oh, has sex factor. Didn't want to take any more chip. Almost gets hit with the fish hook. This is definitely Noel's game to lose, and he does not lose it. Able to eliminate Ray Ray here. Dude, Noel, and he pops dude. Pops up and the light pop off, just keeping himself centered. We love to see the energy. This is pop off light. He's saving the big pop off for when he wins the tournament later. All right. Definitely hit him with it. Job's not done. All he right. Said, he said the job's not done till the trophy's at home. Exactly. Congrats to Ray Ray though for getting a top four placing. Obviously not the placing he wanted, but uh, there's a there's another big tournament coming up pretty soon. <laughs> Definitely a lot of opportunities to come for those, but Noel.
just pacing around right now, trying to keep himself centered. You can't let the, uh, it's easy to ride the wave, but you can't let it uh, kind of cloud how you're playing the game, right? For sure, for sure. But man, Idom is coming up and I know he wants this victory too, bro. Absolutely. How crazy would it be if Idom could walk away with two belts? Bro, I, I can't even get my belt to fit me anymore. This guy's trying to win too. Oh man. Get himself sat down though, gonna get his button check rolling. Noel out in the crowd. His buttons are good, it's okay. Let's push the buttons for him? Fight! That's Marvel players for you, bro. <laughs> True. I push buttons on everybody's stick. Oh my god. That's the energy though. I'm so excited to get the CC2 play it out. Definitely unconventional team comps between the two. Uh man. Who else is doing it like this? Dude? Right. Both of these guys, I mean, I don't think I've seen either one of these guys place this high at an event of this scale, right, for Marvel. Adam is just looking so focused, man. Look, I mean, I know Adam won like a Capcom Cup, but anybody can do that. Can you win a Marvel major? You know what I mean? Dude, some say it's a little <laughs> more difficult. Who knows? <laughs> See the smirk, though. Yeah, yeah. Adam heard me. I know. I know. I mean, Noel could be the one, though. But either way, both of these guys are playing for a chance to go up against Jabril. I know Jabril is staring intently from the crowd, figuring out who his next opponent is going to be. Yeah, definitely a player that can uh, can adapt on the fly really well. Oh, he takes the color. We're a little bit of switch up here for Idom. <laughs> I love seeing the color wars. You know, I just pick color one for everything, bro. I'm basic. I respect it. Fist bump has been had. Losers finals to begin. Wonderland. This is, uh, I think this might get a little messy here. I'm calling it. I mean, there's going to be a lot of teleports. There's a lot of Dormammu going on. A lot of flame carpets. You know, it does tend to get a little messy in those situations. Whoa, okay. Dark Matter actually gets a good amount of damage on that one here. Goes to the tag. He's going to opt into the mirror match, but does have a very strong assist in strange to be able to help him out. I think the one big advantage Noel has here, I think he's better with his spells, and he has Phoenix, right? Of course. This is obviously very helpful as well. He's gonna get into the TAC though. Make this one work, drops it, and gets the raw tag. I haven't seen a lot of successful TACs from Noel today. Wow, just juggling strains, continuing to go through. Is gonna go for the DHC. How much damage can he get on him? And he chooses to spend the meter here and is able to kill Doctor Strange. That's huge. Definitely one of the strongest comeback characters on this team against Phoenix. Has a really good shot with the super. He almost lost Phoenix. What an assist call. I don't almost goes for two. Yeah, still being able to combo off that hard tag there is huge. And welcome to the realm. Romamu is gonna die off of this up the OTG. No, he misses. What was that though? He actually ended up hard tagging there. Idom takes advantage of the situation, goes into a DAC. Okay, and he's just gonna kill through here at this point. Phoenix is guaranteed. He's not even gonna get Doom though. Oh, he misses opportunities left and right. A lot of whiffs going on here. Okay. Wow, taking a ton of chip from the dark hole here. And uh, yeah, in the end, you have to go down. Great jam session there. Kind of have to let him die, though. Curve as well, gets a lot of chip. Tries to go for the jump loop afterwards, misses out a little bit. But again, that fast movement from Noel. The problem here is Idom is going to be a little short on meter if he's even able to get the kill. Now Dante. Gonna be out here struggling by his lonesome. Has an inferno charged up for damage here. Any hit, he's gonna X and get the kill. That'll do it. Level three, Noel. Spending that bar to take the kill. Sip of the drink, one to zero. Yeah, being able to take the first game definitely sets the pace. Puts that, puts the whole thing on your side as far as momentum is concerned. And honestly, all the momentum has been on the all side in this top eight, right? We have seen him dominate over and over again.
Mm, Cross Treader looked like it was going to drop in a weird place, but still works out, and that is some cursed stuff. Bro, that was a disgusting mix up there. I don't know what he was doing. He looked like an alien moving that way. Oh! Back him again with the same side, not quite there, and he gets the killer B. What a confirm! Again, the item is so impressive with these hit confirms. That's a Street Fighter in him. Adam's just here to tell you he's not like us humans, bro. This is an android we're working with here. Oh, never mind. He's human. That is a, a little unfortunate to see there. The X-Factor, though, Noel making it work, and he's able to spend his meter now. He's going to get the tag. Oh, and that launcher, that hitbox is just absurd. Just barely able to connect. up once again finds the air throw has opportunity for a level three misses out on his otg everyone is missing their otg right now oh, genius level dhc and gets the x factor for the kill okay gets for your life nice block on the cross up tries to check him the spell was already out teleport Gonna work out, air to air, almost gets the bull confirmed. He finds it all again. How does Noel keep doing it? Doesn't miss the OTG this time. Able to get the kill. Idom just coming with Doctor Strange. No meter. And the, oh my goodness, the mix up with the teleport. Oh man. And even if this weren't to kill, Noel was managed to get his spells locked in. Even when he knows he's got it, he still manages to somehow be so prepared. Bro, that was 100% no, I mean, that should have been Idom, right? Yeah. No regular player makes that kind of comeback. He said he's a genetic freak. Charge up. Goes down, forward heavy, does get the hit. Slowing it down and continuing just to build that meter for Phoenix. Sometimes when I watch him well play, I forget he has the bird on his team. It's how he plays it so well. Yeah, you either never make it to her or they kill her and he still wins anyway. Oh, the happy birthday drops out because of his own missile. Uh-oh. Here we go, follow through. Here comes the super. Stalking flare, good amount of damage. But unfortunately, that's a ton of meters spent to not actually kill anything. We're heavy, not gonna work. So far with the meteor, he almost goes for two. Did he get both? No, he only gets Tomamu. move. Unfortunate to spend the meter in a situation like that, but he can't quite get there. there a little too far. Does get the confirm, and he gets the jab afterwards. Kills him with the OTG. This is huge. Meteor's almost enough. Board heavy. He low profiles. Oh, I think Noah felt like he had that in the back there. Gives up Dormammu, though. May not matter with Phoenix at five meters in the back. Okay. Oh, with the teleport, double teleport. Doesn't work out. He doesn't neutral tech, though. I don't know if he had time. Like you were saying, it is looking a little bit messy here, but it's all right. Noel comes out on top with the air throw. Now Dante coming in in Devil Trigger has to do something. The only hope left for Idom here. He needs three in a row. Oh, and he's gonna get none in a row there. Back throw in the level three super. Noel is moving on to grand finals. Oh, and he's gonna drop the stick right away. Move himself. Oh, dude. What a way to go. And again, just pacing, pacing, pacing. I like this from Noel. Dude, the predator on the hunt. Talk to him, Noel. Talk to him. Let him know. Show me the shoulders a little bit. Good stuff to Noel. You love to see it. And now he has secured himself a shot against the champ. I said it in KOF. I'll say it again. To be the man, you got to beat the man. And right now, Jabril kind of looking like the man. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely... Uh... Jabril favorite matchup, I would say, obviously. But uh, Noel has been playing like no other time that I've ever seen him, right? This is this is a Super Saiyan 4, Ultra Instinct, whatever the highest level is right now. I don't know. I haven't been watching. You know, <laughs> this close. is that version of Noel, right? Oh, dude. So I really think he's got a great chance here. But, but the one thing Noel has against him is that he's got to win two sets. Two sets. There's not a lot of players in the world that can take one set on Jabril. Two is a very tall ask. 
I don't know if I've ever seen Jabril actually lose from the winner side of Grand Finals. Not that I can remember off the top of my head. You know, we should just ask the source himself. Jabril, have you ever lost from the winner side of Grand Finals? Yes. He has. Okay. Recently. I yeah, there you go. Noel might be the one to do it again. Time skip Jabril. He said, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. It's, it's so exciting to get to see not only just the players like this, but just seeing everybody in the crowd, seeing everybody get hype. I hear the screech from the crowd. You know the one. Everybody in chat, even if you can't hear it, you know what I'm talking about. The energy in the room is always electric, and there's no better place to be than right here for Marvel. Yeah, it's definitely going to be exciting. But speaking of energy, how much energy does Noel have left? He has been up here for a lot of sets, and he's going to have to win two more if he wants to take it today. All right, little butt check action here. No, it's good though. He's he's been playing he's been playing in that same seat for a while. Dude, he looks controlled. He looks I don't think he looks uh, overhyped, which I think is really really important. It's hard to ride the wave. We say it all the time. So you're saying he's in like that Zen mode right now? Listen, man. I, there's a lot of a lot of things have called it a lot of things. Flow state zones. There's a lot of ways to describe it. I think Noel is right in there. For the zone. I like that's some Kuriko. Absolutely. That's, some, that's the zone. A little Hunter X Hunter stuff. Yeah. All right, but we got grand finals of CEO 2023 happening right now. Let's get the let's get hype going, bro. Come on. Get excited. Okay, a couple of decisions to be made here right away. He's able to avoid the jam session. Standing medium. What a check. And he confirms a little bit extra damage, but not too much to do for it. That's still, that's still pretty sick, though. You saw that, right? You saw the series of events that happened there. Okay. Takes it, unfortunately, from the buster. Projectiles come through. Meteor's trade incredibly efficiently. Look at the health on Zero. I feel like Noel from playing this team has gotten so good at playing in these scrambles because playing in this style puts you in those positions. Oh, but you know, Virgil exists. <laughs> Virgil's a thing. You know, some hit spheres here and there, goes for the snap. I didn't even see him, are you serious? Just stand there and push a button, you're Virgil, bro. It's gonna work. You can't block a sword with your bare hands. Aye, and you can't block zero with anybody. So Doom, unfortunately, <laughs> going to take a lot of damage here. Potentially going to go down. Dorn has to make the comeback here. Now you're asking for a lot out of Dormammu, though, to take on this whole team by himself. Not to say it is impossible, though, because we've seen Noah make these kind of comebacks tonight. Not this one, though. Next one. Yeah, definitely a little more room to roam. Hopefully, in the later game, Jabril is going to take the first game. And already, the clock ticking a little bit. Noel, you cannot get too far behind in this set. We talk about the decision fatigue in Marvel all the time. This game requires you to think at a level that, at a pace, that is just unheard of in other games. Noel has been doing a great job checking, though. Checking Jabro and every opponent he's played against with the buttons, you know what I mean? Even as he jumps away. He's not doing anything mindlessly. He's putting thought into every piece of movement there. Yeah, he's even got a little bit of luck on the side. Execution error on the dark holds. Real jumps into it. A little bit of plot armor coming out from Noel. Hey, I'll take luck any day if it helps me win games. Hey, who, who, who's to say that skill isn't consistent? Look, touch it though, though. That's why I like to tell myself. Uh, yeah. That was that. That statement was a little too confusing for me to understand. Brain too small, bro. I, I don't. I don't get it. Charge him up. Has the meteors. Looks for the medium on the way down. He knew the missiles were coming. He's too patient though. Oh, he's just waiting. He was on a hit. On a hit. He was thinking about try dash. <laughs> Back away. Meteors. Dante goes for the teleport. He teleports in response. Are you serious? Oh, goes for the snap on Phoenix. No. Nobody gets snapped. Yeah, unfortunately, only hit Doom. Yeah, yeah. Not quite how that works there. Acid Rain saves the day. Try to get the punish. X Factor, no, he's gonna save it, yeah. Well, yeah, you got Phoenix coming up. All right, but Jabril's, Jabril's thought has to be, how do I gain meter here? You definitely want to be a little bit meter positive going into Dark Phoenix. There, you know, down TAC would do the trick. And so oh. is a long infinite here. Wait. Look at the timer. He actually might timer scam. No, oh. he might catch a foot dive. You can't timer scam if you drop it. 
It's all right, though. The one thing is Jabril has built up enough meter there, and he's got Virgil coming in. So he's in good position. Definitely even matchup for sure. Hard kick. Couldn't get the opposite select. A little too far. Looks for it again. No, keeps whipping these hard kicks. Oh, doesn't matter. This time he goes for the tri-dash light. He's going to catch Jabril. I like that short combo, tournament combo. Do not drop. One to one. Noel staying on the board. Wow, the back and forth has just been unreal. This might be it for Noel. I don't, I don't think I've seen Noel play this well in, in years. It's been so long. This is he's a different beat right now. You're saying today is the day? It could be. Oh, but not if Jabril's gonna be able to get confirms like that. Just barely gets him with the tip of the heavy lightning. Uh, Noel has definitely shown he can hang with the best of them. He's had a long and storied career. But Jabril might be the best player in Marvel today. Okay. Marvel no longer with us. Doom soon to join him. Instead, it's going to be Phoenix. How? How did you block that? Teach me your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of lucky push blocks, I guess. No, though, still in decent position here. He just needs one combo to get Phoenix into where she needs. Oh, he gets the snap. But Noel able to actually come out with an air throw here. Just going to kill a little bit of time. Looking for a heart attack, maybe? Able to get it and land safely. Now being able to get out of there completely safe is so dangerous. He's going to go for the TAC as well. Like you said, you need to set yourself up to be as meter positive as possible. Yeah, I mean, when you're playing Jabril's team, if you have enough meter, even if Phoenix goes dark, it's really a tough situation for Dark Phoenix. But you got to have that meter, right? James Esher can be a, a hell of a monkey wrench. Does get the cross-up. He's going to be able to get the pop however he wants. Goes for oh! a side TAC. Just, we just side TAC? The most basic strategy of all. This works. That's the stuff I used to do in, like, Xbox Live 2012, like I'm a side TAC, see if I can wow. take his meter <laughs> and it just let it happen. That was definitely some schoolyard stuff. <laughs> that's that's like the meta getting so deep, you go back to the basics, you know? <laughs> wow, and with that, Jabril is now threatening the tournament, two to one. This is a dangerous situation. Well, gets the hit, but it's way too high for a confirm. Missiles break it up and back to neutral. Happy for Noel, we like to see this. Yeah, Noel needs to keep spacing himself out away from zero, getting the spells going, and the missiles come right after. I love the way Noel has been playing this game. Is it going to be enough, though? This jam session has definitely been getting in the way for Noel. Okay. Oh, and that particular mix-up has hit just in every single, every possible direction and just has not been blocked a single time. Look, man, I think uh, I think today's matches are a good example of how Jam Session is the best assist in the game. All you naysayers, get out of here with that nonsense. Doom looking to be done for. It might be all up to Dormammu. He's here. Five bars. Unfortunately, he doesn't have an alternate form. <laughs> it's all right, though. I mean, he still has X Factor 3. That's an alternate form, right? Oh, but he may not get a chance. Oh, no, he does get one more chance here. Can he? No. He gets the hit. Able to confirm. That's going to be Jabril. He's going to close it out, and he is going to be your Marvel 3 champion at CEO. A little Tiger Woods pop off from Jabril. I like it. I like it. But a great showing from Noel B. Hungry. All right. Absolutely. And he's going to be hungry for that first place finish at EVO coming up. Great showing today, though, with second place. No shame in that. Only person he's really, you know, I mean, it's hard to beat Jabril, right? I mean, we talk about it time and time again. This guy is potentially the best player right now. Absolutely. I mean, putting in an unbelievable amount of work, as so many players have. We've just, it, it has been incredible to see from everyone. Marvel's in a great spot right now, though. I mean, we saw Idom in top three. Obviously, we saw Noel make it to Grants. There's so many players. KBR is back on it again. It's just anything can happen. And with Evo coming up, I'm I'm so excited to see how this bracket shakes out, right? I mean, it's just so so fun to see everybody grinding, putting in the time. I just, yeah. 
It's oh, crazy. Wow. Marvel's in a great place right now, man. This is the perfect time to start playing or at least start watching, you know, I mean. Absolutely, stay involved. I mean, that is, uh, that, that, that's truly the gift that we have with this game. We will continue to play, we'll continue to shine. This game will never die. God, I hope not. I'm not gonna have anything to do if, uh, if that happens. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be real bored. We are uh, getting our players together for a medal ceremony in just a couple moments. Again, thank you for to everyone that is out here in the crowd. And everybody who is here uh, just on Twitch hanging out with us, we appreciate you for supporting Marvel. We appreciate you for watching uh, and uh, happy to have you a part of this family, man. Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of fun, man. You know, this top eight was exciting. Noel's run was insane. I've just, uh, I've been so impressed by the level of play lately. I'm very impressed by Idom's play as well. I mean, Dante Point is not easy to do, right? Agreed. And he's able to make it happen. Yeah, so, man, this weekend has been ridiculous, though. Even with Street Fighter VI obviously being the new hotness, Marvel still got its shine. Marvel still got its hype. You got to love to see it. Yeah, definitely exciting, as it always is. I mean, that is uh, that is really the, the lifeblood of Marvel. The excitement, as you said, is really truly what kind of uh, sets this game apart in my mind, and I know in a lot of other people's minds and hearts, man. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely the game to play, right? This is the game to watch. This is my favorite game of all time, obviously. You guys already know that, though. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, and I just want to say also, I love you. A it's pleasure a, to always It's get definitely been a pleasure to be able to commentate and watch this game. I would say it's been a pleasure to play this game with you, but, you know, that's been kind of free, bro. So. Hey, man, come on. Nova versus Hunter Bad Matchup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Stop it with that. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. Spread these lies out here to these good folks. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you know, we do what we must. All right. So we're we're pretty much uh getting ready to do the award ceremony here. Looking like it is coming down the pipe, I, I do believe. Yeah, we got the master of ceremonies getting ready up there. Yes, sir. So we'll see. We're gonna head up to the stage now in just a moment here. As we get ourselves set up, once we get that uh, that microphone on, get things rolling. You need your phone for your selfies? All right, guys, let's give it up for top eight of Marvel. Yes. All right, so just so you know, the person that's actually going to be giving you your medals tonight is Liberal Terminator. Since he couldn't make it to top eight, we wanted to make him feel included still. So big shout out to LT for being a good sport, though, right? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Look, just just don't hit him. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I gotta cut tongue off real quick. I have to go give myself a medal in Super Turbo Top 8. But the reason I'm up here, I can't wait. I gotta go over there and then do Tekken. But first, let's thank Tong for everything he's done for Marvel over the years. Seriously, I love you, man. Congrats on everything you've done for the Marvel community, TNS, all of us here. Uh, so I want to give him some before I have to run off. So I'm going to give Tong his very own crying Tong belt as well. That's my goat. So. Th that one's crooked a little bit, so we gave the winner of the game the better one. So, all right, guys, i got to go give myself a medal. Do you want any medals? Oh, you got a belt. God damn it. All right, let's get on with the show. I don't like the way he grips the mic, bro. It's kind of weird. But uh, <laughs> all right, coming in at seventh place. Oh, my goodness. Love to see your face here. Kane Blue River. And also the one to eliminate Liberal Terminator. 
Also in seventh place, Florida's very own Evo champion, Flocker. In fifth place, Florida's best marble player, Ronan Healy. Everything I have to say is an underhanded insult to Liberal Terminator. I'm sorry in advance. All right. <laughs> Coming also in fifth place, the disappointed father of Liberal Terminator, Coach Steve. In fourth place, one of the greatest to do it, we've got Ray Ray. In third place, we've got a man whose greatest accomplishment is sending Liberal Terminator to losers. Idom. And with one of the greatest losers run I have seen, we've got well-deserved in second, Noel B. Hungry. And of course, your CEO, 2023 UMBC3 champion, Jabril. And my pick to win Evo. Just putting it out there. Give him the belt, give him the belt. You'll get yours next year, LT. Give a big shout out to everybody here, man. Congratulations, and also shout out to LT. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you that are watching, that are competing. Thank you guys for keeping this game alive. Seriously, you guys mean the world to me. You don't even know. Thank you guys. Shouts to my goat up there. Love to see it. Amazing stuff to all of the players. You can see Jabril. Dude, the white leather on the belt kind of goes crazy, but you know, we do our best with what we can. Shouts to Ronan as well. Let's go, Ron. Man, it's been a crazy evening so far. There's one more day of action tomorrow. We got Street Fighter VI Top 8s. We got uh, Guilty Gear Strive Top 8s. There's going to be so much more stuff happening tomorrow, but that's going to be it for us tonight. You know, I got to say, though, whoever was giving out the uh, awards, they're very handsome. L love that guy. <laughs> That's your next belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, thanks to uh, Jabaley for getting me my own belt. He knows I can never win, of these, win one of these on my own skill and merit. So, uh, yeah, I'll just take it however I can get it. It's a pretty sexy belt, I'm not going to lie. It definitely goes hard. Sexiest man on the business right here, crying his heart out. Got to love it. Gotta, gotta do what we gotta do for Marvel, man. But like you said, that is gonna be the end for us tonight. Tong, as always, as they said out there, we can't say it enough, but thank you for everything that you do. And especially for, uh, not only just for the FGC, but for Marvel and for everybody in this room. Everybody in this room, we owe you a lot, man. Man, I just wanna say thank you to everyone watching here and at home, all the players that come out. I wanna thank Yipes for still commentating this game today, you know? Thank you, thank you everybody. Everyone that's been putting in work on the tournament side, production side, anybody that's ever had a hand in Marvel, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You mean the world to me and we wouldn't be here without you. So until next time.